Hey, welcome to old number seven garage. We are a grassroots dirt modified racing team. As you can see behind me, we call this lovely piece here, Deja Vu. She is a UMP A modified. She got a little 348 cubic inch small block Chevy putting out a bunch of power. Why don't you come along with us in this journey we call dirt track racing, see what we're all about. We'll take you from the garage to the track and see how we can do. But we wanna thank you for stopping by. Now, grab your wrench and come over here, I need some help. What's the plan tonight? On today's episode, we've got a couple of parts to put on the car, namely the front rotor and a couple of bars for the back normal maintenance items, and uh, just getting it tidied up to go to the races tomorrow. Tomorrow we race at St. Francis County Raceway in Farmington, Missouri. It's a local track. It is our home track. So let's get this stuff on the car so we can get ready to kick some butt tomorrow. What do you say? Let's go. So we got to knock this dust seal off. Use your favorite screwdriver of choice, and hopefully don't knock the handle out of it. You might want to get a shop out too because it's a pretty messy job. Get this, uh, they call it a split pin in England, right? We'll take this cotter pin. I'm just going to get rid of the sides of it because I'm going to put a new one in it. Highly recommend that you put a new cotter pin in each time you do this. All right, let's get a shop towel laid out. Like I said, this is a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. All right, I got my 3 8 Allen. That's what it takes to get these off. And I got a brand new tool. First time ever using it. Milwaukee 3 8 battery powered ratchet. First bolt that's ever taken off. Lovely. Hopefully, when you do this, you don't drop the brake pads on your shoe, on your feet. I got flip flops on, and I ain't trying to do that. These things don't weigh nothing either. Aluminum caliper, right there, done. All right, now we got that out of the way. Take the washer, slide this back a little bit, grab your bearing. That's it for that. Now we got to get the seal. Actually, does this have a seal in it? No. You gotta get the seal out of here and the other bearing. Plenty of grease in there still, so we're keeping up on our maintenance. Hopefully I have a new seal somewhere. Because I don't think I'm gonna be getting this one out so pretty good. Probably not. So let me go find a seal and put it in there because we're not gonna be able to reuse that one. So hang tight. Alright, I had to do some digging, but I got me a new seal here seal driver. That's probably the one right there. And that's Brian right there. <laughs> so, you have landed on the old number seven garage. He's a little late to the show. I started early on him. I had Yeah, I had that. That's what I just got done doing. Yeah, Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties? Krabby Daddies. Krabby oh. Patties. You gotta work your dad get hard again so you start with Oh, crab legs? Yeah. I ain't never ate them in my life. They're good, man. They take a lot of work. I think he's blowing smoke because that stuff's nasty. Huh? Oh, it's, it's good, but it's a lot of work in it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're going to pack these you know, bearings before we put them back in there and drive the seal in. So watch me. It's going to be fun. You see my head in that ugly mother? Yep, right there. Okay. So I just do the normal... I'm a poor guy, don't have a packing thing, and I've done it my whole life this way. And shove it in there. And lather this baby up. Real nice. Set her down in the hole. <laughs> yeah, come here. Are oh, you want some? Plenty. Leave that lay there for later. Yeah, let me borrow that. The guy needs about seven of them. All right, let's knock that seal in there. Put a little bit of grease on it, let her slide in there. 
drive it or grandma's. All right, when you're doing this, you get it down there, you'll hear a sound change. All turned off. It's there it was. I heard it that time, didn't you? Yep. And you it's all your stuff up. It's all. It's not off. Yep, looks good. Got our bearing in there. Looks like it's supposed to be. Good to go. Now you slide this baby on there, nice and easy. There's that. You want to have your other bearing all done, so that way you don't mess your seal up with it just sitting there in no man's land. Get that on there the right way. Okay. And you got your. Are you watching me? I hope. Got your washer. Make sure it's got the little divot on it. Find out where that's at. Slam that in there. And you got a nut. I like to lather all this crap with the grease. And for setting the preload on these, I like to get them real tight so you think something's about to break off of it and then back it up just a little bit. Isn't that the way you do it? <laughs> Tighten her up pretty good. Yep, that's about to break. Then you back her up just a foot. Right there. And that was it. You got any longer ones? That's it. <laughs> That'll work good. That'll work real good, buddy. Oh, I wish you would, because I'd just run it all the way up to the front of the car. Anywho, spin that around. Give her a little... Like that. Give this one up. Now, where's that cat going? Take this cap, smear me a bunch of grease in there for later. Reserve tank. There. You got plenty in there. You got plenty in there. Just pack that all back on. There you go. That's all there is to it. Putting on one of them. Put our brakes back on. Done. Make sure you spray this with brake cleaner because they put some oil on there from the factory to keep it from rusting. So spray that all off. That's a job done right there. What you got, Mocha? That's them fancy ones. We got to do that. All right, we'll get this tidied up and we'll get to the back of the car and show you what we're going to do back there. Before we get to the back of it, we got to clamp down this caliper, shove that piston in because the new rotor is much thicker. Well, beat it up. Alright, got that done. Let's see what you got. Got to torque them. Click. Got it. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Job done. Alright, next thing on the agenda. Turn the lights on. That's the next thing. We gotta work on some bars. This bar down here, it's the, when we first got this car, we did something and it actually bent it a little bit. And we've just ran it because it's fine because we kept the adjustment. But when you adjust it being bent, you have to either, it's one full turn. You can't do half turns or anything like that. So being that we didn't tear a bunch of stuff up tonight or tonight, last weekend we, we're going to put a new one on it, and that'll be our spare. Same way the other side. We had it was, had a little bend in it. it. Wasn't hurting nothing, but we, if we're going to adjust it, we need to have that stuff right. We got these, these here, and the new rotor for the front from our buddies over at SCP High Ridge, Missouri, or Missouri, however you want to say it. That's where we got them. So you're not going to be able to 
get in there with me. So I'm just, I'm gonna get it out and show you the bentness of it. And then we'll put that one on there. So hang tight for it real quick. All right, so as you can see, that one's obviously bent compared to that one. So at one point or another, we got into it right there. It wasn't really affecting the uh, integrity of it. We've always just left it like that. But when you go to adjust it, and you have to put it back down there, if you wanted to leave it up on this side, it wasn't going to work. So fine-tune adjustments, we need, to, we need to be able to have a straight one on there. Here's another cool tool. This guy right here. So B will throw that on there. Pull, he got pull out some inserts first, but throw it on there and it'll get the exact length of the heim we got now. And we'll put the other one exactly as it is on here. Just slide that down. Goes right on there. Tighten that up. That's the exact length of that heim. I mean that swedge tube. And you take the other one and about right there i'm gonna lock it down i'll put a link in the description for uh this little job here it sure does beat using a tape don't it mm -hmm. yep. so we'll get that on we'll go to the next side same story different book here That was about right, wasn't it? Almost. About right there, huh? Got my portable tool cart. A place for everything and everything in its place. Even though it doesn't look like it. I know where every single one of these tools is laying. Be. I think that's what we got to do next, isn't it? I believe so. A little bit of tie prepping with that brand new tie demon we got. If y'all ain't seen our video, check out in my playlist, 2020 Racing. We uh, did a full unboxing, put together and put to use on this new variable speed tire demon. It's the bee's knees, isn't it? It's real nice. We've only used it once, but we did like it. Oh, it's very nice. We only got, what, one, two, three, four, five tires. We only got five tires to prep. Got flip them, oh, yeah, we got to flip tires. And what are you, you saying? What do you mean you got to flip them? What's that mean? Well, all right, can you see this edge? How it's rolled over? See that? Now look at this edge. See that crisp edge? Still brand new on that edge. Still got, there's a nub right there. You can believe me or not. Anyway, so when we flip the tires, what we're doing is we're putting that new crisp biting edge with the way the car is going. So we're turning, you know, left-hand turns, we're sliding in the turn. You want that biting edge to be to the right side of the car. The way this is set up right now, we ran it already, so we wore our, our biting edge off. So we got to deflate this tire, flip it, and put the biting edge over to this side. Same way with this right front. We gotta put it to the right side of the car. So that's what we're gonna do right here and right now. I'm gonna do some tire flipping. I gotta go get some tools. What is it? You didn't like that air coming out of there? Okay, so after I got my tools, what you're gonna need to do this, these here tire spoons, you'll see me use them in a minute. I think I've had them since dad raced back when he was a pup. And if I can wiggle it out of here. A bead breaker. Every racer have this stuff in their arsenal. Bead breaker and tire spoons. And a valve core remover. That's all you need to do your tire flipping. So let me set you up here and we'll get them tires flipped. No flippy? Problem is it is long. Huh? I'm still better this way. I'm still better this way. One of them we're going to run again. Yeah, more around. Well,
So as you can see, that's all there is to that. That's about 19 seconds worth of work, B. Now, so all we gotta do now is get them mounted up over here and start doing some tire prepping. So what we're doing, we're airing all these up to 22 pounds, because that's what is recommended if you're gonna do any siping over here on this machine with this for a uh, tire side. It's got these uh, sipes on it, or siping blades on it. 22 pounds to get the correct cut, just basically to keep the tire from deflecting down. So, what we're gonna do. What are you guys doing mostly? Didn't you just eat? You just ate. I don't care. You don't care? They're you? endless pets. Exactly, they are. That's a nice shirt. Oh, I've done said that before. That is a cool shirt though. Yes, you did. What do you say we get some tire prepping done? We're gonna do it real fast. You ready? over here just working away while we're playing. That's all right. <laughs> About got her lick, don't we? Whoa. That's real nice, buddy. This this machine is the bee's knees. I've said it once or twice, but you want to slow down, B? Not really. <laughs> you want to get her done fast, huh? I like that shirt you got there. Right. Gateway Dirt Nationals. If you guys don't know anything about that, that happens in December, dirt in December. And uh, at, at the dome, used to be the St. Louis Rams football dome, but now they do dirt track racing. They, did, a, they did good stuff now. That's in December. Look it up, Gateway Dirt Nationals. You might see us there racing this year. Uh, that I don't know, I don't know. If nothing else, we're gonna drink a bunch of road sodies and watch. It's kind of our spectator event. You never know. You never know. Mom, okay. Only two more to go, bud. I got it. Something else we do. This is what they call a stagger stick. When he gets done, and she's done. Yeah, backward. So basically, that just opens, and there's some numbers on here. You know, the farther you go, the bigger it is. It's just measuring the tire's circumference. Our diameter right now, because you're just doing half of it. But it transfers it to total rollout circumference. That's how that works. So we always make sure to do that whenever we get done grinding it. And then we take this here white marking stick and we write on the back of it. I believe that was the one we was looking for, wasn't it? Ooh, good, that's exactly what we want. That's the perfect size to match up with the right front. All right, so we're about done tonight. B putting on the last tire, specially staggered. What'd you say, Walgo? Matched? Yep. All that. I, after after we uh, turn the lights off and stuff, I'll talk to the car real sweet, like, see if it wants to cooperate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you down. I'm gonna shave some weight. So you can just cut through there. Bigger fuel, hold an extra gallon of fuel. Hold an extra gallon of fuel. Yeah, boy. Anywho. All right, so we're gonna end it. We're gonna cut her down. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you guys are seeing. And uh, welcome everybody that uh, is new to the channel. We, we really appreciate you stopping by. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Don't mind me, I'm just tripping over myself. And uh, hit that little, boom, that little bell. It'll tell you whenever we post something new. So, got our new tool here. Got her used up. I got all this rubber in the floor we gotta clean up. All we got to do to that little baby right there tomorrow, old deja vu, is load her up. And hope we don't have no deja vu. Well, from we'll say deja vu from last year. Last year, year before. Yeah. In anything but this year. Yeah, this year won one heat race. Normally, we win a heat race every time we go out. One. Be watching for the video for the this weekend. Double duty. A mod, B mod. Thousand to win. 
uh, Bobby's uh, Bobby memorial race. Bobby Johnson memorial race. So we're gonna try to put foot, 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 put foot prints. <laughs> hey man, we're gonna try to put some of them footprints right there, and then two more on the '66 car. Uh, just so you know. We do have a Patreon page now, and I'm putting all kinds of new content on there. We're going to have some really cool stuff going on there tomorrow. So if any of you guys are interested, I'll link it below to our Patreon page. And um, also, we're... Hey, man, what do you guys say about that? Daisy's beating up on Lucky. We are going to be experimenting with live video here. we got to figure out where we're going to do it at. And we'll do, you know, Q&A stuff and uh, upcoming deals we got going on and stuff like that. So look for that next week. I'm going to say the end of next week. Not, it won't be Friday, but you'll have to stay tuned to see what happens Friday. But Thursday, something like that, we'll try a live stream. See how that is. I will definitely make sure in the next video to let you know a specific date and time. And I'll post on uh, my Facebook page and stuff like that. So I'm rambling. I'm doing this. I need to be doing this. All right, we're going to end it. He gone? That's the end of that. Let me see that one more time for good measure. See if I can make this one time. So close. Okay, well, we're gonna end it. I swear we're ending it this time. We wanna thank you for stopping by and we will see you soon.